Pakistaanse Brit die ooit de imam van de dans wil worden... en een Vlaamse jongen met het syndroom van Down die op een boerderij werkt. Het lijkt een ongewone combinatie, maar dat is het zeker niet. I told Kobe, you changed my life. And it's true. I can be a bit stiff. And uh, he taught me a bit how to loosen up, you know. It's cool, it's, it's a life lesson. Taha Gauri uit Londen is te zien in de dansvoorstelling The Beast in the Jungle. Samen met Kobe Wijfels maakte hij een expressieve dansvoorstelling. Fans of Flanders ging naar de repetities. Hoe ja, begint dus? Daar. Oké, ga maar. The piece is called The Beast in the Jungle. It's about a personal journey between two people who would really unlikely meet. And that's uh, Kobe with Down syndrome and myself, who's from England. We don't share the same language. We really are quite different people. And this piece is completely about Kobe and I growing together. Oh, we'll go there again. No, Ever since I was a kid, uh, my grandmother used to ask me, what do you want to be when you're older? And I used to always tell her since like the age of three that I want to be an artist. It's not common to grow up in a Muslim family and turn out to be a dancer. Although I'm, I'm the dancer and the one who's trying to be an artist now, I'm the most, I practice my religion the most. I pray as much as I can. When I was 11 years old, I had a rheumatism in my spine, which stopped me from playing sports. Uh, I didn't take part in any physical activities in school. And during that time, yeah, I guess I was sad and I used to pray a lot. Every time I perform, I, I, I pray in my head before I go on stage. When you pray, it's a physical thing. It's an expression of gratitude. Because I find myself so lucky to be able to perform and to be able to have a voice heard. Yeah, I, I'm very grateful for that. You changed my life. Kobe and I communicate by speaking gibberish <laughs> with each other. Super bekoop pista. Oh, cheers, Rory. Okay, well. Yes, yes, yes. It's a very uncomplicated relationship between Kobe and I. <laughs> we, uh, we chill out. It's about pure necessities. We have a physical proximity that, that uh, I've never had with any other person. I, work, I walked into the studio the first day and he runs up to me and like wraps his arms around me, you know? It's a love between us. <laughs> it's a funny love between us. It's a best friend.